when a calamity comes in your life and things are not the way it's supposed to be. It takes, you get to take time and think, take, think about your relationship with the Lord. I thank you for all the prayers that you've been giving me. I'm on the road to recovery. It seems like it's long, but it's good. It's going to come dramatically. I want to look at several verses today. Uh, Romans 1.17. Romans 1.17. It reads, For in the righteousness of God is real, revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the righteous will live by faith. Glory, praise God. I want to read that one more time. For in the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith as it is written. And the righteous will live by faith. Amen. That was Romans 1.17. Now when we look at faith to faith, their faith is what we hope for. Faith is the glory of Christ. Amen. Faith is what we need. Well, part of the problem that we have is we exercise our faith on past things. And if we keep saying, I wished it would be like the old times. I wish this, I wish that. That is stagnated faith. Ah, that is stagnated because God is the God of the day and not of yesterday mm -hmm. and we have to realize that when we keep looking back and looking forward and stepping out of faith mm -hmm. in Romans 10 17 it says so faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Glory. Mm -hmm. Amen. So faith comes by hearing Amen. and hearing by the word of God. Romans 10, 17. Mm. Now, God sent his word to heal us Amen. and to deliver us from destruction. But it's just like the stony ground are the good soils is that we say we have faith and we hear the word and we're going to stand on the word but sometimes our hearts are so callous so hard mm. and it just falls to the ground mm, nah. and Satan comes to steal that nah. mm. steal the word from us mm. the promise of God he just Feels it. My. Then we have the faith oh. that thorn, if cracks it, and thorns and sizzles come up. Oh. We say we have faith, but every time we exercise our faith, we're going to be attacked. Mm. Mm. And what happens there? It happens that again, the world endeavors, the world problems. Mm. tries to choke that word of God mm. that God wants us to have good soil good soil now we say it says faith cometh by hearing in the word of God when I was in the hospital 
we had 66 healing scriptures that we prayed over me every day. And it built my strength. I'm not there yet, but I know in faith I will be. Praise God. And what we did, some of the type things we did, is Brenda would take the scriptures and she'd put my name in. And I'm going to just share a few of those this morning. It says, I will take sickness away from you and number your days will fulfill. Exodus 23, 15, and 16. And to give you an example of how we, we prayed this, Brenda would pray, God will take sickness away from Skip and the number of his days will fulfill. These are the same verses that you can pray over yourself. Pray over yourself. Deuteronomy 11 verses 9 and 21. It will be well with you and your day shall multiply for long as the days of heaven upon the earth. God. Again, she prayed. But you can pray for yourself or over other people. Amen. It will be well with Skip and his days shall be multiplied for long as the days of heaven upon the earth. Deuteronomy 11, verse 9 and 21. Then the verse that you prayed, I'm not going to go through all 66, so y'all can, actually there's 101, we couldn't find one of the papers. I'll give you strength and bless you with peace. Psalms 29 and 11. You can speak this over yourself. I've been praying this a long time that is that when somebody has sickness that peace will rule in their bodies. Every part of their body. But also it will be peace your life, no matter what turmoil, no matter what. I've, I've been seeing some weird things on the news that there are a group of people called furries, and they think they're animals. And they, they'll even one school allowed them to wear costumes. And they had even litter boxes in the bathroom. And I saw that. And I wonder how could they allow that to happen? But we see, but then I see a flip flip University of Georgia had a rally and hundreds and hundreds saved. Yes. At the University of Georgia. Yes. And what was unique about it, they all got baptized. Yes. yes. They get baptized in the back of a big pickup truck. Praise God. Mm. Mm. So it's a counter revolution going on. Mm. Evil against good. Mm-hmm. It's all the laws that we see your country making, they're kind of anti-God, but we can stand up, speak peace over our country, speak over our body, peace over each one of us. 
peace of over your household. Yes. Sometimes we do not speak peace. We just pray for healing. We pray for this. When you speak peace, it happens. By, by watching and praying, God looks over his word to perform it. Praise the Lord. Amen. And it's a matter of faith. It's not what he did before. It's what he wants to do now. Amen. What he wants to do now. I don't have the reference on this one, but I'm going to read it anyway. I will preserve you and keep you alive. Mm-hmm. Preservation. Keep you in the safety of his arm. Yes. Put a strong tower around you. Psalms 91 16 says, I will satisfy you with long life. I will satisfy you with long life. Lord. How much do we really believe it? How much do we exercise our faith in that? Or do we just stay stagnant? What's part of the problem is that the word is given to us and there's different souls that we let it fall to in. Mm. And the people that it falls on stolen ground that they don't hear mm. They have no hope. Hmm. But if you look at Jesus, confess your sins before him, and submit yourself to him, then you'll be satisfied. Here's another verse I didn't even get the reference to. And I like this one. I will cover you and make you to live. I'm ready to save you. I'll save you. Isaiah 38, 16, 20, 3, 4. Just think about that. No matter what you're going through, and the ultimate word is through, Satan's there trying to steal the word. God's love and his word never fails. But that's where we have to exercise our faith. Do we just look at what's behind us and let our faith go stagnant? Or do we open up and say, Lord, have your way with me. Praise God. Mm-hmm. Then it comes to the last verse I'm going to read to you. Luke chapter 9, verse 11. Luke chapter 9, verse 11. I will heal those who need of healing. Mm. 
And that's not only healing in your body, but it's healing in your mind and in your emotions. Amen. Yes, yes. He will heal those. He said he said his word healed us and delivered us from our destruction. Sometimes we give in so much. But the way every time I have a setback, I always say, Lord, you have a new direction for me. Or Lord, have I trusted you as much as I can? We need to trust and have faith in God. Yes. And the opposite of trust is doubt. Mm. When we pray, we need to not doubt mm. that the Lord is word is good. I want everybody at this particular time, put your hand on your heart and I want to do this. <coughs> Say, Lord, Lord, I need healing in all parts of my life. Father, you know my need. And you will heal me. Strengthen my faith. Let me look forward to your majesty and your glory forever.